Summer's here and I decided to make a set of cornhole boards. I wanted to do a little something special, so I added this. Boom! LED lights. Like a sniper. Because I'm a marksman at cornhole. Not really. I'm horrible. But stay tuned so you can see how I made these. You make your own set. I used 2x4s for the framing, which is pretty normal, a lot of people do that, but I did mill it down so it's actually one by three, mostly for weight. I wanted to try to remove as much weight as possible. Now on the playing surface, I didn't want to screw up from the bottom because I didn't want to look at the screw heads on the bottom. And I knew if I screwed down from the top, I'd have to deal with it. So I thought I'm going to trench out an area and put my screw heads there and then I can put black epoxy in there. Now on the cornhole itself, what I wanted to do was add LED lights around there and make it really cool, sort of like the scope on a rifle.
want to do something special with the cornhole boards and I'm glad I chose to use LED lights and epoxy, but I was bummed out at myself that I chose the wrong epoxy the first time. You see, I used a urethane epoxy the first time, which doesn't mix well with moisture at all, so I had nothing but problems. It foamed up really bad, there was voids everywhere, it was just a colossal mess. So I made the hard choice and decided to make a second set. This time I'm going to do it right. One of the problems I noticed on the first pour was that the dye in the epoxy was also dyeing the light colored plywood. So I thought this time around, I'm gonna blue tape the whole area where I'm pouring. And I'm also gonna add some little hot glue dams to keep the epoxy where I want it. tape worked great. What I didn't anticipate was the dye leaching in from the sides. What I should have done was just pour enough black, cover up the screw heads, and then used clear on top of it. I would have gotten the result I wanted, it would have been a lot cleaner. 